going on world it's your boy big chips we are back live large and in charge having a great time finally enjoying things again you know and i, I just want to speak on a couple things because I, I was talking to a few people and i was talking to my wife especially about it but you know it's important to have a dmo it's important to have you know just activities that are income producing right that's all good you got to have that but the problem that i see is so many people will jump on the bandwagon of creating a dmo or they are creating uh, you know income producing activities but they're not producing income and first and foremost i'll tell you why that is and why well the people i've been talking to why they're not making it, you know income off their income producing activities all right that's because they don't know why they're doing it. You know, everybody says you got to have a why. You know, make your why make you cry, and then you'll be good to go. But that's that's only part of it, right? You got to know why you're doing this. Why are you in marketing? Why are you in that company? Why are you selling those products? You know, so many people just don't even know what they're doing it for. They don't know what they're doing, but they don't know what they're doing it for. You understand? And when you sit back and you think about it, and you get to a point where you're like, okay, why am I doing this? Why this company? All right, because I've been helping my wife with a few things, and we're getting ready to, I mean, she's blowing her business straight out the water. Ain't no doubt about that. But, you know, I'm trying to help her, and I'm looking at a lot of people that are around it and what they're doing. And the point of it is, is there should be a strategic meaning behind why they're doing it. You know, not just to make money. You know, anybody can go make money. You got to have, if you really want to blow up, you got to be more than just make money. All right? Because anybody can go anywhere to make money, right? So what what can you do to be different? What can you be do to stand out with somebody else? And number one, that's be original. All right, actually give value, not just talk about what a great leader you are, or all the things you've done, and you know that's great for getting a lot of people in. But I see a lot of people that do that that the, the all those people come and go. You know, the ones who actually have a low attrition rate are the ones who actually give a dang about the people that they come in because they took the time to know who they were. All right. I don't care how many teams I built, how large my team was. When I brought them in, I knew each and every one of them. All right, and that's the it, it goes back down to offline marketing. Everybody, you know, wants to praise internet marketing as the only way, build your list, build your list and it's going to make you money and that's true it will. But when you're trying to build a team that lasts, you can't really build now. There's there's a few marketers out there that do, and I I'll, I should clarify <laughs> that not everybody is wrong, but the majority of the people are out there just buying traffic, sending people to capture pages, collecting links or leads. That's it. You know they're not building a real rapport. They're just literally mass spamming. And I had a cat uh, this guy on my team that that's all he wanted to do he wanted to just send his link out to his list and expect to make money and although that can happen that is a very viable situation you're not going to sustain that income because not everybody's going to join your company off a list not everybody's going to understand what they're joining they're not going to have a meaning a purpose for doing that so what happens in the, is in the process of all this transaction, they get that thing called buyer's remorse. And buyer's remorse sets in, and then, then what do they do? They quit because they are remorseful because they have no idea what they bought. They have no idea what they got involved in. It's just crazy. It's silly. It's silly. So it, 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 it all comes back down with the simple thing know why you're doing it know why you became involved you know that's your story 
I can tell you until I'm blue in the face the struggles I've been through, the stuff that I walked through, the stuff that I've seen. And honestly, I don't think it really matters. It, I just honestly, I don't think it really matters. People don't really give two craps about what I've been through. Yeah, it's good for the shock value. Yeah, it's good for, you know, people understanding that you can start from the bottom and get to the top. and But that's what everybody does. You know, I want to tell people why I'm involved with Wake Up Now. I want to tell them why I am invested in my products. I want to tell them why I love my energy drinks. I want to tell them why I love my protein mix or why I love my uh, nutri- uh, supplements. You know, I want to tell them why I love TaxBot. You know, why I love the proprietary software One Finance. These are the things that are important because people need to understand what they have, what they bought, or what they are buying. And when you get to that point, then your why that you created for what makes you cry can push you and it just explode you to another level because you know why you're doing it and then you have the why to push it. All right? So that's all I got for you. It's your boy Big Chips here with the Diamond Dream Team representing creating simplefreedom.com. But listen, guys, for real, this is a business about you. So take your life serious. Get yourself in a place of business. Understand what you're doing. Become a product of the product and take yourself to the next level. I'll see you on the other side. Make it a great day. I dare you.